circumference of the hatch, uh, which will uh, guard it against any uh, micrometeoroid uh, impacts uh, while it's exposed to the void of space. Uh, Mikhail Kornienko will be the first to uh, leave the uh, airlock. Right on. Yes, Misha. Yours is on. Okay, and I'm activating yours. Gena? Uh, is it working? No, stand by one. Okay, now it's working, Gennady. Okay, see this? Uh, stand up vertically in relation to me. Handrail. Stand by one, Moscow. Do you see the image? I see this. I see it. Uh, it's me. It's it's mine. It's uh, it's me who is on the back. Well, I can't really reach. Uh, it's not enough. They well, uh, pull it between my legs. Uh, raise your feet a little bit. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Where are you? I'm here. Yeah. Do you have it? Okay, it's going to be right underneath. Misha, did you drop it again? Yeah. No, I know, I got it. I'm holding you now. Is that good now? Stand by one. Is it better? Oh, what is Oleg saying about the window? Well, Artyom, silent. Well, nothing yet. Well, I think. I'm rolling it up. Pulling it in. The view from Gennady Padalka's helmet camera as the International Space Station flies uh, just off the east coast of South America, moving from southwest to northeast at an altitude of 250 statute miles. Mikhail Kornienko is wrapping up the cleaning of window number two. 